Hello Year 6s, for our topic we're doing the Shang Dynasty of Ancient China. Now I know a lot of you at home are going to be great getting on with English and Maths, but we want to make sure that we don't lose out on doing our art, because last term we did some amazing fantastic art when we did our windows and all the other things that we did. So I want to make sure that we carried on with that trend. So what we're going to be having a go at, if you see behind me, we're going to have a go at doing some Chinese scroll art. And I want to show you that no matter what materials you've got lying at home, paints, pens, pencils, sharpies, we're going to be able to make some fantastic art. So let's give that a go. So this is a one that I had a go at making myself. And I had really great fun doing this and learning all about how to do the Chinese scroll painting. And I had a little go with... Uh, different ideas of you know trying out different materials that I've got lying around the house to see how I could get that same kind of effect. It's worth looking at some examples on the internet here. Um there's some great stuff that we can find. I just found these pinned these off on the internet. Um quite a lot of um one that I've gone for is like doing cherry blossom, a cherry blossom tree, which is a, a massive thing in Chinese art. Um, I don't know why, maybe you can do some research on why cherry blossom is such a big thing. Maybe it's a national flower or something in China. And then birds feature quite a lot, you know, mountain ranges. So this is worth having a look on the internet to see what ones you can pull off. You don't do exactly the same as what I've done. You can do anything. There's mountains, there's dragons, there's, there's all sorts of different things. But that's what I like, because I like birds and thought I've had a go at doing that. So what we want to do with our Chinese scroll painting is get, make sure the paper's the right size. So if you look at it, it's this quite long, you know, quite quite a long length and quite a thin width, you know, the, the, the idea of this scroll. Now I've just, you can use whatever pieces of paper you've got knocking around the home. Um, but I've used two pieces of A4. You might be some leftover, you know, wrapping paper. Um, anything you've got lying around the home. And I started off by um, just going to print stick. Again, if you've got any PBA glue. Like that. And just basically sticking two bits of paper together to get the length that I was looking for. Okay, we'll turn it over. So now I've got the right length. Okay, that's my scroll length. Now, I'm gonna show you one technique using some paint and some similar things that, we take, um, that we've done before. But you know, I've got a bunch of uh, brushes Okay, brushes, I've got different types of marker pen that I've got lying around the house. You know, I've got, um, I've got pencils, uh, I've got different markers, and then, um, you know, different coloured Sharpies and stuff like that. So, I want to show you that whatever you've got lying around the house, we can use any of these things, some of these things, to create some really great Chinese scroll art. Okay, so... So I've mixed some black paint here. You nearly need quite a lot, quite a bit of black paint, to make it quite watery. So I mean, I've just used some, I've just used some paint like this. You know what I mean? You might have a, you might have a little watercolor set knocking around. You know, similar to what we'll have at school or something like that. Um, so I don't give this a go and. Uh, because I've got the paint quite watery, I'm going to use a technique that we've actually done at school, which is like a kind of um, a blowing technique with a straw. So it does need to be quite watery. I'm going to get, I need to get quite a lot of paint onto my brush. So I'm going to put quite a lot of paint on there, like that. And then my straw. Keep adding more paint. So I'm trying to create this kind of branches. You get these lovely accidents that happen that are quite random. 
So don't worry about how it's kind of turning out. I've just got quite a lot of paint in there. I want to get this kind of a bit more, the thicker part of the branch. And uh, if I blow quite hard and quite fast, I get, um, you know, I get kind of more of a splatter. Whereas if I just drop little bits in, um, and blow it slowly, I can get more like a controlled. So, keep adding bits until we are kind of happy with that's going. A little bit in here, I want to get a little branch up here. So you get the ideas. We can use um, use the straw drop blades and use the straw. Oh, the other thing you can do is you can just use your brush. Which is a technique that I did with my did mine. Just use our brush, using the kind of really using the kind of end of the brush, holding the brush right at the end and just kind of. Use a different brush, a slightly finer brush. Just like the final brush. It's just brush, so you know we can use brushes, you know, I've used the um use the straw. Um you might not have any paint nothing around, you might just have face say for example. So for example, you just got, you know, like a Sharpie knocking around. I've had a go using one of these, you know, you can just add there. Use different things, different there. So something else you can play around with. You've not got that. Even, you know, just a standard old kind of black. Uh, pencil crayon So next we want to go for the actual cherry bottom itself. So I've got some I need to make pink so obviously uh, if you've not got pink knocking around um, We've got obviously um, Red and white and I've just got in a touch of yellow in there because it's the kind of pink that I want We're going to give this a mix around I'm not sure how this is going to turn out like Yeah Look a bit ready to me, so I'm just going to add in a little bit more white. A little bit more white, a bit more wash over. I need, I need quite wash of what I want to do. Have a bit of 
washing now. A little bit of black left. I should have washed my brush out properly. There's a little bit of black left in there. So always important to wash your, bro your brushes out properly before you mix a nice cut. That's looking a little bit more like it. I might put a little bit more water in there. It's looking not too bad. Now, quite happy with that. We'll go with that. So now, what I'm going to do is something that we've done before. It's like a flick technique. Get my brush kind of quite loaded up with paint, plenty of paint on there, and then using just a, a pencil or whatever, we just to give it a give a just in the areas that I want it to want it to go. Oh, that's quite nice. Look at the camera to see what that looks like. Oop, camera's moved. Yeah, that's quite nice. Great. Now I'm just going to get some more paint and you shouldn't brush. Just painting some bigger petals. Something in there. And notice I'm just kind of, I'm always kind of pushing the brush down, thin and then thick, it's using the tip, and then this is where I want some here, where I've got this gap in here, put that gap in on purpose. I want to kind of. some more because I'm going to water it down slightly so it looks and if you can see that here we go it's just a lot lighter get the idea of like light and shade or some maybe some of these petals are in the background so I've got my paint quite watery there now and then I'm just going to do the same again very delicate this child, what I've noticed about this Chinese um, painting, scroll painting, it's, it's very delicate. I mean, th these people spend years. It's a real technique and they master it and they really get an idea of what they want in their minds. I, I haven't planned this. I'm just kind of going with what I feel and that's hopefully what you can do. Just, there's no right or wrong, you know. There's a, there's, a, a, there's a nice randomness to a, about it that I really like. And then up there. It's not looking too bad. Let me put a few in there. A little bit in there. Okay. That's looking quite good. Quite happy with that. Just give it a go. Just gonna have a just experiment with these things. I'm gonna use some more black here, just just a little bit of uh. 
and then really we need to really leave that to dry for a while which is patience so I might come back and let's leave that to dry for a while before I do the next bit okay so it's a little bit dry now so we'll give this a go I've just got some white I haven't mixed it with anything else just some raw white straight out of the tube um, using a fine brush just to add these little just some little highlights So I actually watched uh, a few videos of someone doing this to kind of be able to show you this. You might be able to find some videos yourself. There's some real, obviously real masters, Chinese masters at this that can do this. It's just, you know, this is just like I say, it's over the second time I've actually done this. So I'm by no means an expert. Like I say, everyone looks, every time you do it, it turns out different. Let's see the... And then finally I'm going to mix some... Uh, finally I'm going to mix some the green. I've actually got green in the tube, so I'm just using some green on my palette here. Quite a watery green. And I'm just adding putting that in here. quite a nice thing and then finally what I uh, what I have on the uh, the Chinese scrolls is they notice that down the side they've got these kind of Chinese symbols and um, I looked at a few on the internet and, uh, you know, there's, there's different ones. They can use all these different things. You know, beauty. That's a good one there. Um, harmony, nature. There's all sorts of different things. So just to kind of finish it off, I'm just going to add... A little Chinese symbol here. Let's stick this up here so I know what I'm doing. Um, I'm going to have it going doing. Um, and it looks quite tranquil so I'm going to do peace. So I'm just using my black paint. I had earlier. Just going to. Just pure black up here. You can actually do this with. Um, a sharpie or a pencil crayon, anything that you've got knocking around. It looks nice, obviously, in paint, but obviously, you know, anything that you've got knocking around. So let's just give that a go on the kind of the top left there. So, and then, you know, like that. Looks quite nice. And I'll do another one. We've got peace. What else can we go for? Um, I was pretty sure there was one that said uh, flower. Okay, that's one because it's a flower. 
flower's quite difficult actually. I don't know if you can see flower. But uh, that's quite tricky. Um, let's give this a go. Crikey, okay, so it look like that. And then And there you go. Or we, you know, we could do just to prove my point. We could do it in, uh, you know, a sharpie. Let's pick another one. We can do. Uh, do, do, do. Friend, you know, for friendship. So, I'm just going to use a sharpie. There you go. So there we go. That is the finished painting. And then what I've done with mine, move all this out of the way, is when I had mine earlier, I'm just going to get mine. So this is the one that I did earlier. And uh, I've added some string and some lollipop sticks to that. So this is not, um, so like I said, with this one, I'll just use, you know, some, um, um, you could use some bits of card. I'm going to use some bits of card on this one just to finish it off. It's a little bit dry now, so I'm going to turn that over. Here's it. Just gonna put it on there, and I'm gonna fold it over. That's like makes it hang, gives it a bit of weight at the bottom, so it kind of hangs nice and straight. The side. I mean, take your time with yours. I mean, I've not really let mine dry proper, so it's probably going to smudge all over the table. But, um... There we go. More bits in there. And then... Just going to fold it over. There we go. Not really finish it off, I think. Pink goes nice with the pink. But like I say, anything you've got knocking around, just even a white card, just to give it the weight for it to hang, it would be fine. And then like I say, with this one, I just used, you know, some, um, I used string with that one. So I'm going to use this wool that I found for this one. It's a nice kind of pink wool. Um, there. I had the exact piece cut off and now I've lost it. So I cut another piece off. Piece, string it on, turn it around. Some uh, bit of sticky tape. And then a bit more tape. And then just 
stuck to the table. And there you have it. So I'm not sure if we can get the full kind of benefit of that. That's quite nice. That's quite good. So there you have it. That's our finished Chinese scroll painting. So give that a go at home. Um, really be nice to see if you've got any finished, uh, post them online for me to have a look at. Uh, that'd be great. Uh, have fun with it. Uh, let me know what you think of this video, any comments you've got. And um, yeah, I look forward to seeing your work. Okay.